Rest in peace, never settle, 2014 to 2021. Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tag. Good to see you guys again. And you know, I wasn't expecting to do a video on this, but so much news has come out on this topic that now I want to address it. And that is the news that OnePlus confirms it is limiting the performance of many Android apps to save battery life. Now this started around a day back when Geekbench confirmed that there was some sort of manipulation OnePlus was doing, not from the benchmark side, but from the app performance side, that was actually a form of benchmark manipulation. They then proceeded to remove the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro from the benchmark list. According to the Anantic Post, they were able to discover that OnePlus was essentially limiting the performance of apps. So essentially not using the phone's full power to be able to utilize these apps to quote save battery life but at the same time benchmarking apps and other types of apps of this style were able to harness the full power of the phone. Here's the deal guys. The reality is yes maybe there's been cheating on benchmarks maybe there's been other situations in the past where companies have done something similar but never have I seen them actually do this with main apps like Chrome, like Twitter, to actually throttle down performance on these apps, on these phones to essentially save battery life, but really to reduce the capabilities of these phones, but ultimately still be able to perform well in these benchmarks. But I guess the whole point is here, guys, whether you believe one side or the other, or whether you think this is an acceptable behavior, the fact that this company is doing this behind the backs of their consumers, actually limiting the performance, and then going about these ways that are not transparent and that are not clear to the user, I think is just a mistake. And I think honestly, this for me really means the death of never settle for OnePlus, period. Now, you could have said the merger was the big news of the year with OnePlus. You could have said Carl Pay leaving last year. You could have said all the other issues they've had, the confirmation that Oxygen OS was going to be unified with ColorOS. You could have said all these things were a factor, but for me, this one is the breaking point. And this is one where you clearly are seeing that this company is doing things behind the back of their consumers, and they're doing things in a way that one, does settle and two is not transparent with the audience that actually built them up in the first place. Last but not least guys, I do think that there's something to be said about these naysayers, these people who are pretty much commenting and I've dealt with a lot of comments today about it. Oh, but the common user won't care. Oh, but it's been done before. Oh, but other companies have done a similar thing. The point is guys, this whataboutism argument does not condone the fact that OnePlus is doing this right now. And number two guys, the never settle mantra. I think always symbolize being transparent to your community, to your users, and really just sharing the honest truths about a product and the experience and ultimately never settling to what people expect, what people want, and ultimately engaging them in a thoughtful, honest manner. I don't think that's the case with this company anymore. But hit me up in the comments, what are your thoughts on this OnePlus controversy? And do you think that this is truly the end of Never Settle? And are you ready to look at other phone companies, what other companies are doing in the space over OnePlus? Hit me up in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for future updates. So a bit of a rant here guys, but I'm just disappointed because I actually was a OnePlus fan for a long time and I really hoped they would turn it around this year. I was really hoping that would be the case. Instead, there's just been more and more signs for me that make it clear that the days of OnePlus being a great company, a company that I can support, and ultimately a company that I can recommend, whose products I can recommend, are done. So that's it, and this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one. RIP Never Settle. Such a pity.